Military patches are a universal part of uniforms, both in the United States and around the world. When did embroidered patches come into use and what makes them so important as a part of the standard military uniform? Keep watching to find out. They're relatively new. The history of military patches in the United States is relatively brief. Some soldiers in the Civil War wore them for identification. These were typically made by mothers, wives, or girlfriends on the home front. At the time, virtually all embroidery was done by hand just as it had been for thousands of years. Each patch was at least a little bit different, so it would have been difficult to standardize them. But not long after the end of that war, changes already wrought by the Industrial Revolution brought big changes to embroidery. The invention of the sewing machine, and later the powered embroidery machine, greatly decreased the cost and increased the speed of embroidery production. That made it possible for custom embroidered patches to be produced rapidly and consistently. By World War I, machine embroidery was well established. After U.S. troops joined the war in 1917, the Army's 81st Infantry Division created what's come to be known as the first shoulder sleeve insignia, or tactical patch. The troops had trained at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Near the fort was a body of water known as Wildcat Creek. Their patch design featured the silhouette of a wildcat on an olive drab background. Within two decades, every army group, squad, corps, and division had its own unique shoulder sleeve insignia. The 82nd Airborne had its mirror image of a pair of A's for all Americans, the 1st Infantry Division its big red one, and so on for all the others. Before long, insignia including unit patches and U.S. flags became a standard part of the uniform. Backward flag. You might wonder why the U.S. flag patch on the right shoulder of military uniforms appears to be backward from the usual position. The official Army regulations requires that the star field of the flag face forward. The rationale is that when a flag is being carried into battle by cavalry or infantry, the stars are closest to the flagpole. The forward momentum causes the stripes to stream back. If the flag is worn on the left shoulder, it's moving forward when viewed from the traditional position. If you're looking at the flag worn on the right shoulder with the stars to your right, the flag is still moving forward as the soldier marches forward. Velcro patches. With the invention of the hook and loop fastener, aka Velcro, patches became even more common. The flag patches mentioned previously, for example, attach to uniforms with Velcro. That allows them to be removed quickly as needed. In a field deployment, the full color flag can easily be replaced with a muted color subdued style that doesn't stand out against camouflage. The Velcro method hastened the development of other embroidered patch. Morale patches are informal, unsanctioned military patches that express a point of view or a humorous saying. The Velcro fastener makes it easy to take the patch off quickly if a superior is likely to not be amused by it. Morale patches can be a simple phrase or something more ornate with custom designs to match a unit's unofficial symbol or motto. Any reputable patch supplier can provide top quality custom morale patches right alongside more traditional shoulder insignia and other patches. The key to good military patches is finding a dependable supplier. An experienced custom military patch provider knows that customer service and product quality are the keys to success. If you'd like to know more, visit our site today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.